My name is Ayako. I'm a 24-year-old daycare teacher that's working at Rookie Daycare. I love my job because I get to hang out with kids every day, and my relationship with their parents are good too. I get to work under a helpful boss and with great colleagues. Everything's going well. One of my colleagues is one year younger than me. Her name is Marie, and she's from the same school that I was at. We're still close with one another, and we've been occasionally going out for food too. One night, she asked me to grab a drink with her. Hey, I heard what happened. Kenji proposed to you, right? Wait, who told you that? You should have told me yourself, Ayako. We're friends, right? Well, it just happened a week ago, so I only had told my closest friends. Sorry. So, you're finally gonna get married, huh? Um, can you answer my question? Who told you about this? Oh, come on. You're acting like you don't want me to know about this. I just heard it in a rumor. Well, that's not what I'm trying to say. I just don't want everyone in the world finding out, you know? But you should be sharing this news with everyone. And besides, if people find out that you're marrying Kenji, they're gonna go crazy. He's the most handsome guy at our old school, remember? Wait, so is that why you asked me to come and eat dinner with you today? So, what did he say when he proposed to you? She's not listening to me, is she? We're friends, right? Come on, tell me. Well, he proposed to me in a restaurant that overlooks the city. Wow, that's kind of cliche. I knew she was going to say that. But who cares? You're marrying Kenji, and that's all that matters. Um, thanks, but I don't think you should... Sorry, I'm just a very judgy person. It's just a force of habit, I guess. Marie already looked a bit drunk. I was getting ready to go home because she was making me uncomfortable with all these questions, but... When are you having your wedding? Have you met his parents yet? Kenji's parents are super rich, right? Hey, I think that's enough questions for today. I don't want you to dig into our relationship too much, you know? Don't be so petty, Ayako! Well, I'm not trying to be petty. It's just that it happened so recently that nothing's been decided yet. I'll tell you about everything once it's been decided, alright? Yes, ma'am. It's been a while since we met. So, let's drink tonight, yeah? Man, I wish I was dating Kenji. Huh? Nothing. I'm gonna order five cocktails if that's okay with you. Are you sure you want to be drinking that much? And that night, she ended up drinking way more than five cocktails. I had to call a taxi for her and send her home. I thought something might be up with her, but I didn't let it bother me. A few months passed without nothing happening. We both met each other's parents, and we finished making preparations for our wedding. But that's when Kenji came back from work, looking a little depressed. Hey Kenji, dinner's ready. I'm gonna take a shower first. I thought you'd say so, so I warmed up the bath for you. Thanks, Ayako. Is something wrong? It looks like something's bothering you. Um, I don't know how to tell you this, especially because our wedding is coming up, but, uh, I want to break up with you. Huh? W wait, what does that mean? He doesn't want to marry me? Why? This came out of left field, and I was just shocked. Um, Kenji, stop joking around. I'm not joking. But you were looking forward to the wedding, just as I was. I'm sorry. That's not good enough. Tell me why. I'm dating one of your friends now. Her name is Marie. What? You know, the girl who always used to hang out with you? You have got to be kidding me. You can't be serious right now. She got my number from a friend and contacted me first. At first, we were just texting, but, uh... How did you two end up dating? She said that she would listen to me vent about my relationship and my life, and that's when we first met. That means she lured you in, right? Well, yes, and the more we met, the more I fell in love with her. I can't believe this. My head is starting to hurt. And we started seeing each other three months ago. I'm sorry. I can't believe you. You cheated on me. Why the hell did you have to keep our relationship going if you didn't love me anymore? I'm sorry. So that's why she wanted to eat dinner with me that night. I'll pay you any amount that you want, and I'll tell the wedding venue and all the people we invited that the wedding is cancelled. You thought you could just pay me off and solve this? You betrayed me. Both you and Marie did. Uh, no, this isn't her fault. This is all my fault. What are you talking about? You weak in the head or something? Uh, please, could you not blame her for this? I trusted you, Kenji. I loved you. I spent so much time with you, and now it's all just a waste. I stormed out of the house in anger and sadness. I heard Kenji calling for me by the door, but I ignored him and checked into a hotel. I needed some time alone, so I took a long shower and calmed myself down. And that's when she texted me. Hey, Ayako! How's it going? You finished preparing for your wedding yet? I can't believe you decided to text me, Marie. Wait! Why are you so angry? You know exactly why. I heard about you and Kenji. I heard everything. Oh, so you finally found out, huh? That's right. 
<laughs> Kenji and I are madly in love. I hope you realize what you just did. Of course I do. I stole the most important person that you had in your life. Why does it sound like you're having fun? Are you trying to tease me or something? No, that's not what I'm trying to do. This is just how I usually talk, you know? Whatever. What do you want? Kenji just told you that he wanted to break up with you, right? He told me over the phone earlier. That's right. <laughs> how does it feel to be betrayed like that? You feel like crap, don't you? <laughs> Why did you do this? I loved Kenji ever since we were in college. It was love at first sight. I've been trying to get his attention for years, but you started dating him instead, and that just pissed me off. And so that's why you decided to just steal him from me? That's right! He deserves way better than you. I should have been his girlfriend from the very beginning. That's why you asked me all about my marriage that night, huh? You can beg, but I'm not going to give him back to you. I'm already pregnant with his child, so... <sighs> so you've already done the deed, huh? <laughs> that's right! And you don't have to act so tough, you know. I know you're on the verge of crying right now. Then why don't you just marry him? So I have your blessing then? That's so nice of you. Thank you. Could you get a divorce with him right now then? I never got married with him in the first place, so you don't have to worry about that. Man, I'm so lucky. This means I'm finally getting married. I have nothing else to say to you. Goodbye. I threw my phone on the bed and cried. I can't believe one of my friends took my fiancé from me. They both betrayed me. That was enough to make me go insane. After I cried for a few hours, I got tired and went to sleep. The following day, when I checked my bank account, I saw that Kenji and Marie had sent me a large sum of money as compensation. We officially canceled our wedding, and Marie decided that she was going to quit her job because of her pregnancy. Kenji kept on trying to reason with me, but I wasn't having any of it. I gathered all of my stuff and moved out of his place. I moved back with my parents and decided to stay there for a while. Are you sure you want to quit your job? Yeah, I don't want to live so close to the people that betrayed me, you know? Well, I understand. It's not your fault. I was going to ask you to attend the wedding as well since you've been really good to me, but I'm sorry it had to end this way. It's not your fault, Ayaku. You were the best worker that any boss could ask for. I'm going back to my parents' place to reset my life. Thank you for everything, ma'am. You can come hang out anytime, Ayako. Yes, ma'am. Wait, by the way, would you be interested in going to Vancouver? Huh? My niece got married with a man that lives there, and they said they love it there. I thought, maybe you'd be interested, you know? Well, I'm not sure if I want to move abroad right now. I'm not going to force you to go, but they let foreign daycare teachers stay there as part of an au pair program. So I thought it'd be perfect for you. The au pair program? That's when you travel abroad and stay at a family's home while taking care of their children and get money for it, right? It is. Didn't think you'd know about it. Canada has a lot of greenery, so I thought it'd be a great place where you can reset your mind. I see. I guess I'll give it a thought. No worry. Everyone here is on your side. We're going to do our best to support you through these tough times, Ayako. Just knowing that my boss had my back made me feel infinitely better about my situation. The au pair program, huh? I do need to make money, so it might not be a terrible idea. I asked my parents what they thought of it, and they said I should give it a shot. So I got a working holiday visa, and I decided to travel to Canada. And a year after my fiancé broke up with me, I was finally able to travel to Vancouver. And that's when my life changed. So, you came here all the way from Japan, huh? That's right. I used to be a daycare teacher, so I have some experience taking care of kids. I can even play the piano. That's awesome! Can you sing me a tune? Mm, but I don't know any English or French songs. Then just sing a Japanese song that you know. I'd love to hear you sing. W well, I'm a bit embarrassed, so maybe some other time. You don't have to be so shy. You should be more proud and confident of yourself. Sure. It's been three months since I moved in with this family. This is Mary. She's in her 30s, and this is her son. While I was staying at their place working as a babysitter, I was attending language school. One day, Mary's cousin Cedric came to visit Mary. We had dinner together and had a lot of fun talking over a glass of wine. Man, I'm nervous just talking to him in English. It's only been a couple of months since you got here, right? I can show you around if you'd like. Are you sure? Yeah, I think you're a nice person, so I'd like to do a favor for you. Thank you so much. But, uh, you're ten years younger than me, right? Don't worry, that doesn't bother me at all. And besides, you're still pretty young yourself. Thank you, that means a lot. If you know any good cafes or tourist spots around here, I'd like you to show me. Of course, it's been five years since I started living here, so I know my way around. I'm so excited. Then it's a date. W what? I was surprised when he said that, and my face turned red. Mary and her son both laughed when they saw that. C can you blame me? No one's ever been that forward with me before. 
And so, we exchanged numbers and started contacting each other every so often. Things were going well between us. We started seeing each other more often. And one day, we were on a walk in the park. Ayako, I love you. What? In Canada, we don't explicitly ask someone to date you, but since that's how you do it in Japan, I thought I'd follow your tradition. Uh, um... If you're okay with it, then I want to be your boyfriend. But but I'm still 24, and I don't have as much experience dating as you do. Age is just a number, terms apply. You said that the other day, remember? But I just meant that in the context of friends. I swear my feelings towards you are true and unwavering. Cedric, and so we decided to start going out. By the way, I only found this out after we started dating. But apparently, Cedric is a lawyer. He's from Quebec. And he hasn't had a girlfriend since he moved here. He's very handsome, so I thought he'd have one, but Mary and her son both congratulated us, and we grew even closer as time went on. Man, Tokyo is a massive city! There's so many trains running at once! Apparently, three of the most used train stations in the world are in Tokyo. First place is Shinjuku, second is Shibuya, and third is Ikebukuro. Really? They're all in Tokyo? That's crazy! By the way, is there anywhere that you'd like to see? I want to go to the Sky Tree and Asakusa, and man, I have an endless list of places I want to go to. It's been a year since I started working in Vancouver. I had to go home because my visa was expiring, and Cedric said he wanted to come with me. I was going to show him around and introduce him to my parents. They're going to be so surprised when they found out I have a Canadian boyfriend now. And when I was showing Cedric around Tokyo, I met someone I recognized. Ayako? Wait, are you Marie? you where the hell have you been i don't have to tell you that you betrayed me and stole my fiance from me remember why are you digging up the past all of a sudden it's only been two years since that happened you think i already forgave you or something damn it i thought my life was over because of you two bastards if my boss didn't tell me about the au pair program who knows what would have happened to me is this your friend ayako this is one of my former colleagues and classmates from college so she's the one huh Who's that handsome foreign gentleman standing next to you, Ayaku? Why the hell do you sound so excited? Um, my name is Marie. Hey, you better not get near Cedric. So Cedric is his name, huh? That's such a nice name. <sighs> I've done it again. All right, he's gonna be mine from now on, Ayaku. What the hell are you talking about? This is my boyfriend. <laughs> but he's so clearly out of your league. Marie, stop embarrassing yourself in front of him. You know that I'm kinder and prettier, don't you? So give me your boyfriend. This bitch. Stop it. I already have a girlfriend who I love very much. Huh? Ayako told me about you and all about what you did to her. You're a terrible person, you know. What? I can't understand because he's speaking in English. He says he wants you to stop bugging him. He knows that you stole my fiancé from me two years ago. Why would you tell him about me? That's not fair. How is it not fair? It's the truth. Damn it! And I thought you were already married to Kenji. And I thought you even had a kid with him. Where's your kid? Well, I... She seemed intimidated by us, but she started telling us about what happened. Kenji was absolutely obsessed with his mom. He did everything she told him to do, and he even started crying when I told him that we couldn't live with her. No way. And he forced us to move in with her after we got married. It was such a disaster. And even after I had our child, I was always super busy with chores. I had no free time. They treated my son well because he was going to take over their business, but they never treated me as family. I see. I started losing hair because of stress, and they wouldn't even let me see the doctor. I told him to control his mom, but she was always on her side and told me to follow her orders. The Kenji I loved was nowhere to be seen. This is what I get for thinking that I'd be happy if I stole your fiancé from you. I was shocked to hear Marie's story. I didn't think Kenji was that obsessed with his mother. I knew he was hiding something from me, but this was an absolute bombshell that I didn't expect. Marie was sobbing her eyes out, and she looked super stressed. She had lost weight and was a completely different person from two years ago. Other people might feel bad for her, but all I could think of was how lucky I was not to have gone through with that marriage. And now, they're taking my son away from me. They won't even let me hold him. And that's why I decided to run away. And then I met you. Why did you act like you wanted to take Cedric away from me? Can't you tell? I can't let you be happy. It's just not fair. I know it's been a while since we've seen each other, but this isn't normal. Shut up! You forced me to date that stupid idiot Kenji! No, 
You brought this all upon yourself. You stole him from me, remember? Shut up! You're the reason I'm like this now! You have to calm down, Marie. You're gonna pay for this! Whoa. When she came charging towards me, Cedric stepped in between us and stopped her. You shouldn't take your anger out on Ayako, it's wrong. What do you know? You took her happiness away from her. You deserve to have it taken away from you too. And I need to protect Ayako from you whatever it takes. You need to get out of my way! I can't understand what you're saying, but I'm not gonna do as you say. Because I can tell that you're trying to hurt her. Talk to me in Japanese, damn it! I can't understand what you're saying! Hey Ayako, what's she saying? She's telling you to speak in Japanese and to get out of her way. Well, that's a no. You need to do something about this guy, Ayako. No, thank you. I can't do that for you. What? What did you just say? Cedric is a lawyer, you know. And he has a lot of connections with lawyers in this country, too. What? And you know what I'm trying to say, right? N no way! If you're going to bother us like this, then we're going to have to seek legal action against you. N no! I just wanted to be happy. I loved Kenji. I really did. I'm sorry, but I can't help you anymore. You did ruin my life two years ago. If you want to get away from him and his mom, you're going to have to figure something out. <laughs> I hate you! I hate you all! I hope you all become unhappy! Thanks for stepping in earlier, Cedric. One of Kenji's friends found Marie, and she was taken back to his place. She begged them for a divorce, but Marie's parents had received a lot of money from them already, and they were not going to let her get away so easily. That's why even her parents were unwilling to help her. She had no one she could rely on anymore. She was emotionally abused after that, and when she finally got out of the relationship, her face had grown old and tired from stress, and she lost all of the beauty that she just had a few years ago. Why? Why is this happening to me? I just wanted to be happy. I, I just didn't think it was fair. Ayako didn't deserve to take Kenji. It wasn't fair. <laughs> By the way, Kenji got a new girlfriend after he got a divorce with Marie. But he was arrested a few days after that because he started thrashing the neighborhood. Apparently, he had gone crazy because no one was listening to him. And his mother might get arrested too because she pushed him to that state. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ayako, will you marry me? Let's go back to Quebec and live there as a married couple. I'd love to. Yes, I thought you might have said no. I was so nervous. I would never do that. Thank you so much, honey. I'm going to start my own legal practice when I get back to my hometown, and I'll do my best to support you so you can start working as a daycare teacher again. Thank you so much, Cedric. But I guess I need to meet your parents first, huh? Yeah, I'm sure they'll love the news. We're going to be happy together, Cedric. After we went through a few months of long distance, we finally decided to get married. And after a year after we got married and moved to Quebec, we had our very first child. And now, I'm studying French so that I can become a daycare teacher here. I am so happy that I'm finally able to build the family that I so desired when I was in Japan. And now, I'm going to do my best to protect this relationship that I have by always making sure to be kind and respectful to others.